counting MEC for Economic Development, Environment, Agriculture and Rural Development, Lebohang Maile, has announced the Gauteng government's multi-million rand pilot project to incorporate waste pickers into the mainstream waste economy. He addressed the media on Wednesday. A 12-month pilot of this project will be launched in Tembisa in two days' time, wherein government will be handing out 200 branded motorized three-wheeler vehicles to local waste cooperatives. The move is part of the Buntle Kibutu campaign. This campaign is geared towards mobilizing communities to work with government and other stakeholders to contribute to the cleaning and greening of the environment. Government argues that within the waste management economy in South Africa, approximately 60,000 to 90,000 waste pickers have saved municipalities roughly 750 million rand every year by diverting recyclables away from landfills at little to no cost. The entire provincial rollout is expected to create thousands of jobs within the housing economy. All right, for more on this project, we're very pleased to be joined in studio by Gauteng DG for Economic Development, Mr. Luis Nguane. Luis, a very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Good evening, Alicia. Good news you come bearing this evening. Tell us all about these uh, methods that are, 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 are planned to incorporate these waste pickers. Thanks. Um, we, they, we've conducted a study that um, indicated that waste pickers actually save municipalities in the order of 742 million per annum in wow. terms of landfill uh, airspace cost. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you will know, Alicia, they sort of uh, are excluded in terms of the mainstream economy, mm -hmm. but they also face social exclusion in terms of dignity, in terms of protection. Mm -hmm. So what this project seeks to do is to then acknowledge First and foremost, the social role they play in terms of supporting communities in terms of removing the waste. They come to our households, we call them capsite recyclers, mm -hmm. our okay. They come to your house, they remove the waste. But they have got no protection or any kind of social inclusion. So in terms of this project, what we then we're looking into in terms of we're looking into deploying uh, infrastructure mm -hmm. in terms of the two hundred custom and a special people's built vehicles. Mm. And we're then looking into also increasing their earning potential. Mm. Because currently a waste picker will be able to uh, pull on average a, a, a weight that is equal to their body mass. Ah, so okay. they'll probably pull maybe 60 to 80 kg uh, per trip. Okay. And some of them uh, drive all the way from CBD in Newtown. There's a buyback center there. And they will come all the way up to a, a Renbeck CBD. Then they must then pull up this weight all the way back. Mm -hmm. Now this project says, as waste pickers, you are doing a very excellent job. Absolutely. We are saving us airspace. Yeah. Let us assist you as a, as a provincial government. Louis, so are they going to be ta paying any taxes, if I may ask? And of course, uh, take us through how you will actually get them on board. Do they have to register through a certain body? I mean, what's the process for them to get involved? We've already uh, identified them. We've got a database of oh, okay. all waste pickers in the province. Mm -hmm. um, from 2012 already, we've been assisting them. For an example, last year, we uh, identified 41 of them. We took them through registration with DTI. Then we took them through training, both technical training on waste management, but also business development mm. on markets, finance. So we've got that process of identifying them and okay. evaluating them. All right. Because this is a significant investment per cooperative, it is important that the cooperative is working. Absolutely. So the cooperatives that are going to get access to infrastructure are those who are striving even more because then they can increase their uh, uh, recycling capacity yes. five to six times. Wow. Look, look. So we hear that, uh, of course, uh, the pilot commences in two days in yeah, Tembisa. Definitely. Just how many jobs will this project or initiative create? Look, we're looking in the order of around about 2,000 direct jobs. Wow. Uh, for the 200 vehicles, we already have 200 drivers okay. and 200 data capturers mm -hmm. for each vehicle because we want to already uh, make a sense of what is the impact in terms of waste collection? Mm -hmm. So the data capturer will be there to then say, we went to these households and we collected that much. It went to which buyback center? All right. But downstream, because each co-op now will have be able to collect six or seven times more, we anticipate that a, a, a
probably 3,000 or 4,000 jobs should be uh, realized wow. within the 12 months period of the pilot. Imagine, and this is just a pilot, Louis. So, I mean, let's talk about this. Have you spoken to the pickers? What is their feeling about this great initiative? Well, they're very, I'm sure very they must excited. Be excited. <laughs> they're very excited. We're doing the pilot currently at Ekuruleni. Okay. We've already spoken to 18 of the uh, co ops there. There's about 32 of them that we've put through the training, very rigorous training, making sure that because the vehicles are going to use public road, Alicia, mm -hmm. so they've got to be licensed. Absolutely. Um, so we've already put them through that licensing process. We've taken them through technical training. So they're very excited. Oh, wow. However, the actual handover of the vehicles will happen once uh, Honorable David Makura, Premier of Gauteng, has actually handed them over ah. on a Sunday. Look, uh, Louis, are you planning as the province to cover all these waste pickers? And then when will they, will that, does that mean that uh, the entire project or pilot will yes. be wrapped up? Or are you planning in the we future to already, take it across the oh, nation? Definitely, definitely. We are planning to expand. Yeah. The pilot is at 12 months. But already we're planning to uh, roll out an additional 100 and we'll be going to a, as a first port, a city bank, mm. as well as West Rand as district municipalities because often districts don't have the kind of capacity in terms of finances to support uh, uh, waste pickers. Mm. So we're saying waste pickers can be integrated into the waste economy without them being employees of a municipality. Mm. Because often municipalities ha are hesitant. They're saying the only way you can support them is to make them employees. We're saying, no, 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 you don't have to. Yeah. These are entrepreneurs on their own right. Yeah. And there's about 90,000 of them in the country with about 55% of them in Gauteng. Mm. We're then saying that we can actually roll out this pilot and go to all the five regions of the province, okay. including Tswane and Johannesburg, and then say, can we integrate them into the mainstream waste economy? Oh, because right. that uh, economy is, is 0.6.2 of the GDP of the province. So it's a sizable yeah, economy yeah. Uh, in the billions, but uh, waste actors are at the periphery in, the, in terms of that How economy. How profitable is this, Luiso? Just, you know. Look, look uh, if, uh, on, on average, if a waste picker, for example, uh, Alicia collects uh, paper and package waste like yeah. a cupboard and then takes it to a buyback center. On average, around about a ton, they will probably get something like, what, 120. Mm. Uh, the studies we've looked into that uh, waste pickers uh, make around about 120 a day. Mm. Okay, then, then if that's around about that, you're probably looking at about 2.4 uh, per month. Okay. What we but then look- something on the table. Yes, yeah. what we then look to do is to then increase that six or seven times okay. so that because the capacity of the vehicle they will be able to collect ah, six even or more. seven times mm. so we then already pick, uh, talking to buyback centers and say are you able to then receive this bulk of waste that we are now going to be able to bring to your doorstep through the waste pickers. All right. Now, Louis, so we've had motorists complaining about the barrows that yeah. were being pulled by, of Definitely. course, the waste pickers. Any plans for the pickers now to have easy passage on those busy roads? Oh, definite. The, what we're looking into, the, the, the three-wheeler vehicle itself has been homologated. Okay. So it's got an inati certificate by National Department of, uh, of Transport. Okay. So it's so a it's licensed vehicle. Oh, it's okay. roadworthy. Okay. So it's going to drive on the road. What then it does, it elevates the kind of traffic jam you often find <laughs> when you <laughs> look in front and say, why is everybody not moving? Yeah. Then you find Umkhereza is pulling a, a 120 kind of waste. Yeah. What's a little bit frustrated? <laughs> you little bit sympathetic as well. <laughs> so yeah. because the vehicles are licensed, and because the vehicles will... It makes everything yes, easier. Then, then they can share public road and the vehicle can move up to 60 to 90 kilometers uh, per goodness. hour. Oh, so nice. it will, should be able then to relieve a uh, traffic jam that is related to their activities. Louis, so the final points, let's talk about the homes now. Will yeah. there be specific sorted bags uh, separately for them to collect so that they avoid uh, spillage when, uh, when digging through the debris? Oh, definitely. As part of this project, mm -hmm. we've identified 2,000 households okay. in Tembisa as part of the pilot. We're giving them different colored receptacles, plastic bags, mm -hmm. and we, through this pilot, we're then asking them to separate waste. Mm -hmm. Because the value of waste deteriorates the more it gets contaminated. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example. If you have paper and then you throw in your food waste, wet waste, then the value of what the recycler will pay to a uh, umkereza. Okay. a waste picker, it mm. then deteriorates. Mm. So in terms of this project, we're then saying that 
households should be able with these uh, branded plastic bags to keep and separate waste. Yeah. However, we're not doing just that in Tembisa. We have a provincial program of, of separation at source with municipalities who are our key stakeholders. And oh, we're saying okay. promote separation at source because it doesn't only help the municipalities because easier, yeah. they collect less. Mm. But uh, it then helps uh, the waste pickers because then they can, they can identify have they... uh, easy access because oh. we don't want them to get their hands into a dustbin and they don't know what is there. Mm. There could be acid battery there yeah. and all sorts of stuff. That's true. Yes. All right, Louis, so before I let you go, I like continuity, but Thank 12 you. months sounds like, a 12 months in pilot doesn't sound like, you know, long-term sustainability. I mean, are you planning after this 12 months because i'm sure there are other waste pickers oh, that you still haven't identified yes, that yes. would want to be part of this initiative so are you looking at expanding oh, uh, how soon looking. are you looking at expanding no as i indicated already yeah in terms of the the pilot we're looking at 200 vehicles okay already now we are in a state to procure an, an additional 100 vehicles mm -hmm. so the program is going to go through what we wanted to do with the pilot is to uh, uh, gather key learnings going forward and see what were the key learnings. And as we then roll the program full time, we then are aware of what those key learnings mm. and not repeat uh, weaknesses in the Absolute. system. Absolutely, and you're equipping them with skills. Oh, definitely. Uh, Loiso, thank you Thanks so much for joining Thanks, us Alicia. this evening. Okay. Mr. Loiso Nkwane is the Gauteng DG for Economic Development. He joined us right here in studio to talk to us about this great initiative.